shout of one. Want to start off by giving all praise, glory, honor, to unto Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Rukakodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders and great millstone. And no respect to the brothers teaching and preaching the truth all over the globe worldwide. And two, in a few Akim and Aqua that are just listening and learning, to you I'll give a sincere shout of one. You know, coming back at you with another lesson. And this lesson pretty much is going to go into the wisdom of teaming. Uh, when you look at the current events that are going on across the globe, you're seeing the wisdom of teaming is, is becoming very foolish. And you see that, you know, with this latest event, you know, talking about the withdrawal of Afghanistan, you know, you uh, had, you know, the quote unquote American people, you know, was fighting in the war in Afghanistan for pretty much 20 years. And what was the end game of that when they withdraw from Afghanistan? What did they accomplish while they was over there? You know, the answer to that is nothing. You know, they did not accomplish anything while they was over there. You know, the withdrawal process pretty much was pretty sloppy. You have uh, you have the troops that are still stuck over there. And then, you know, according to news reports, you got, you, you now you're gonna have, I believe it's roughly around 800 uh, Afghan immigrants supposed to migrate over here to the, to the United States. And why would uh, Afghan immigrants want to come over here to Babylon the Great? You know, because in their mind, they believe that by them coming over here, <clears throat> they believe that they are going to have all types of freedom and they think things are going to be better over here but not knowing that this place, which particularly called Babylon the Great, which is ruled by Esau Edom, the so-called white man, is, you know, is on this, is on the decline. Meaning that every time you look, you know, you got things in Babylon the Great are, di are diminishing. <clears throat> For example, of that, you know what I'm saying? You got you had a mirth here in Babylon the Great is pretty much gone. You know what I'm saying? Because you got the, the inhabitants over here are all stretched out over, you know, famines. You know what I'm saying? You got people are uh, pretty much, you know, killing themselves over here and you got the murder rate is at an all time high over here in Babylon the Great. You got all types of famines and pestilence and things going over over here in Babylon the Great. And then, you know, the issues that they have, you know, they have issues with the border. You know what I'm saying? They, they allow immigrants from the border to even come to Babylon the Great, you know, not, you know, having a thing, you know, you, you brothers know what I'm talking about. And you see sisters out there. <clears throat> you have all these things going on in Babylon the Great. And what did the scripture say about when the righteous rejoice and when the wicked bear rule? Let's get that in Proverbs chapter 29, and this is verse two. And it reads, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. And in this whole world, as you see right now, is it a state of mourning? You know what I'm saying? It's in a state of confusion because the wicked is is in rulership right now. Because the earth is given to the hands of the wicked, according to the scripture in Job 9 24. And you can see that the earth is given to the hands of the wicked. Because look look at what's going on throughout the world. You got wars, you got rumors of wars. 
you know, you got uh, the latest development uh, in Afghanistan that you even got, uh, they said something, you know, along the lines of probably about 10,000 American troops that are still over there in Afghanistan where, you know, they had no plans on how they're going to get them out of there or, you know, we... Uh, in in uh, uh, we're in a time period that we need your house shot to come back, you know what I'm saying, and set things in order, because these people who are ruling right now, they have no wisdom how, on how to uh have things in order, and to prove that, let's get uh Jeremiah chapter forty nine and verse seven, and it reads concerning Edom. Thus said Yahweh, O host, is, is wisdom no more in teeming? Is counsel perish from the prudent? Is their wisdom vanished? And you see that the wisdom of Esau Edom, the so-called white man, the one that is ruling the earth right now, you see his wisdom is becoming foolish. And look at the people that is in, in uh, Afghanistan. You know what I'm saying? The Americans that is over there, and they're stuck over there, you know what I'm saying? They 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 more concerned about the refugees over there than they is and then they concerned about their own people. You know, why is that? Because we you know, the brothers been telling you that the powers that be doesn't give that they doesn't care about you people, man. And they show it each and every day and they show it time and time again how much they care about you people but at the end of the day your how about Shema Shah is going to straighten out this whole ordeal because the wisdom of Esau Edom is, is becoming foolish it's already foolish it is showing itself time and time again that wisdom is foolish this is Jeremiah chapter 49 verse 8. It said, Flee ye turn back the well deep, O inhabitants of Dedan. Out for I will bring the calamity of Esau upon him, the time that I will visit him. And, and you and you see in Yahweh by Shemal Shah is visiting Esau Edom, so called white man. You see in his council, you see, you see in the plays that are going on in the earth, you know. This devil is losing the narrative all the way around, man. And um, you can just see it and just, and just, you know, going in the news. You know, you got Psalm 64 and 8 coming to pass. You got, uh, you know, they, they lie in their own tongue to fall upon themselves. Even their own people is out, is out and out what's going on. Because they fed up, because they realized that the so-called American dream, you know, it, you know what I'm saying, is it, becoming a, an American nightmare. You know what I'm saying? Because you got this, uh, you know, the thing is being pushed heavily. You know what I'm saying? You got, uh, you know, you got the uh, the masinated against the unmasinated. You know what I'm saying? You got turmoil here in Babylon the Great. And who rulership is all this is, is under? This is under Esau, even the so-called white man, showing that his wisdom is foolishness in the eyes of Yahweh Bashim al Shah. You know what I'm saying? Because his wisdom is laughable. You know what I'm saying? He's conjuring up all types of spirits, you know, all, you know, that past, all types of sorceries. And, and, and that shows you that this devil it, it just, he's, he's in desperate mode right now. You know what I'm saying? And look who's in office, man. And this guy in the, in the president, he, you know, he's a joke in the office, man. You know what I'm saying? He can't remember how, he can't even, probably can't remember his own name for crying out loud. But, you know what I'm saying? This is what you, you just like want it. You reject it, you by Shimmy Alsha. You you rejected uh his uh prophets and this who you want to rule over you and look at the wisdom that's going on in in Edom man look, look how foolish that wisdom is and in in America you know America 
within itself is becoming so pathetic that you got the other nations are laughing at Babylon the Great and how pathetic, you know, this place really is, man. These people seeing America as at its vulnerable state. And and they and they are uh, t and they and they going for the kill, man. You know what I'm saying? But you know that you know that's what happened when you, when you have uh you know you have uh Esau in the power, man. Look look at look at the wickedness, man. Look at his uh, wisdom, wisdom becoming foolishness. You know what I'm saying? They wisdom has vanished because. You know, at one particular point that you even looked at this devil as he was wise, you know, you thought he was the wisest thing on the earth, man. But we're coming to find out his wisdom is foolishness in the eye of Yah, by the Shema of Shah. And the people see it, and the whole earth sees that this this man's wisdom is foolishness. You know what I'm saying? But the only people that really don't see it is you so-called Israelites, you know, you so-called black, Latino, Native American. You, you the one that, that doesn't see it. You know what I'm saying? But even if, even if you do see it, you, you in denial. Because you look at this man as your savior. Forget what, he's not your savior. He can't even keep his own affairs in order. And, and you see it, and you see it time and time again. You know what I'm saying? Look at the situation with Afghanistan. Look how these people uh, can't can't even get, they can't even do a proper withdrawal on how to get everybody out of there safely. You know what I'm saying? This, this, this man, Wilson, is laughable, man. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, he's being made better, man. You know what I'm saying? And he's being a laughing stock of the entire earth. So, um, you know, this is what this is what you you uh Israelites wanted to uh you know have to rule over you, man. You know, this is this is who you wanted to rule over you, and 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 they wisdom is is becoming foolish in the eyesight of Yahweh by Shem You know, and that and that's it for a lesson. Just want to do something real quick. You know, if I uh, you know shut down for the day. I want to give all praise, glory, honor, do unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, for Kakadash, double honors to the apostles and else, a great millstone. Shout out one.